Okay, well, this is where we left off. I was able to do uh, two episodes in a city, which is very nice when I can pull that off. We're going to go up here and fight this Screamer, most likely Screamer Horde. Yep. And hopefully not die. Uh, did she call ferals in? No ferals, okay. I'll cover up our hole just in case so we don't get any falling in there and tearing up our ladder. A couple good headshots there. Not so much on the screamer. Oh, there's a screamer down there. Oh, it'd be good to have bullets in the gun, Spark. That's how much I use firearms. Really? She's coming this way, y'all. You gotta leave me alone. Alright. That's like such a super southern word, y'all. <laughs> Though I did talk to a buddy of mine that lives in uh, Illinois, and he was saying that some use it up there as well. So I was a little surprised by that. I thought that y'all was a word that was uh, specifically southern. Mr. Cop. Oh, there's a screamer over there. She's going to spawn more. There's a bear. Oh, he's going to blow it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, oh, how we made it out of that, I will never know. Stop it with you screaming. Any ferals? I don't see any ferals. Pinecone, that's how we had a pine cone. There's a screamer right there. Oh, right over her head. Okay, so because I shot, did that in turn spawn that dog? Oh, feral. Two ferals. Not good. Not good at all. You gotta stop the swing. Stop the swing. Oh, he's down. His buddy's gonna be coming soon. There's his buddy. Oh, there's another feral. Oh! Run, Spartan, run. From Mr. Feral. And his brothers. Or cousins, or whatever they might be. Ooh. All right. I got tricky. Really fast, too. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I ate it! That's not good. <laughs> I was out there playing with fire and got burned. I think last episode or maybe the episode before that we took our mini bike back to this base so not a total loss i guess uh you know we uh, we needed to get some things done here in the base real quick top some things back off my only concern is getting back over there in time before my backpack despawns and i think it dropped on a corpse as well so i guess that's a heck of a way to uh start out the episode still kind of want to spawn over at this base 
for the time being, uh, I think I put it up here, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. So we'll take that and that. You and you and you. And I believe we had a better engine. Let's save that engine. Do we use it? No, 309. Okay. So we'll throw this back together, put some gas in it. Uh, matter of fact, we'll take uh, 2,000 gas. Let's check all this out. Let's get some more steel going here while we're here real quick. Only 116. That's not a lot. Cement. You know, I keep doing this uh, stone, but I think let's go ahead and stop production on this stone right now. Because I think we're good on cement for now. I can always make more. Uh, we are going to stick some iron. Well, we'll do one iron and one... One iron and one clay uh, in this forge. And we'll get it uh, pumping out a little iron as well. Because we certainly need some steel to go around that upper band. Was there anything else I needed from over here? I do not remember. Um... We out of goldenrod tea over there. I think we're close to running out. Let's just take this with us. Let's put our mini bike together. It's almost 2200. I kind of want to get out there and go before. As a matter of fact, let's put this in here and that and there before we get another screamer to show up and ruin our plans. Oh, a seat. Oh, yeah, seat's right there. Get on your bike and ride, Mr. Spartan. Oh, this is not terrible. <laughs> it's not great, but I think it's going to get us there before our bag despawns. I do see the bag up on the uh, little compass up top. So that's good. We're just getting our wellness up, and I think I took a 10 dip for that, but that's all right. It's just part of the game. Uh, some of you, uh, a good friend of mine that plays on the server, Old Crow Express, had been watching uh, some of the episodes, and he's like, the one episode where I died twice, he's like, man, great episode. He's like, you just don't die enough for me. <laughs> so I guess he, he'd be uh, happy with this episode that I did eat it one time to a feral. It's just part of the game. He's out there trying to get all uh, cowboy on him. Probably should have used the sniper rifle since we did have it on our belt, but I, I'm i not such a good shot with those things, and uh, I just don't practice enough with them. Uh, I you know, trust myself with the club more than I do a, a rifle. I have a dog chase. Oh, it's a zombie. They can almost run as fast as this bike. That might not be good when we get over to the hub. So we get over there, I kind of need to man those forges a little bit too and get some more steel going. Probably going to put a halt to steel production or concrete production, cement production is the word I was looking for. I can't put my words together. Cement production on one of the forges and have three pumping out uh, iron. Also need to come back over to our desert mine and spend a day over there. Uh you know, mining for some more iron. Uh, I guess we get a little bit of oil shale while we're there just as a byproduct of doing the mining and some sand. Uh, but uh, there's so much iron in that one pocket uh, that I absolutely want to come back uh, to the desert mine and, and get that done. Uh, that way we just have a surplus because all of those spikes I want to take up to steel. And, um, you know, there were a bunch of them. Probably looking at around uh, 2,000 2, or so steel. I forgot how many spikes we put down now. I'd have to you know, count it back out again. But uh, 2 to 3,000 to 3, steel is what we're going to need. We really need about four or 5,000 steel because uh, we want to be able to repair those spikes as well uh, once we get them upgraded to steel. 
So hold on, backpack. We're gonna we're gonna show up and uh, guns a blazing, spike clubs a blazing, whatever it is that we're blazing. And we're gonna take out anything that might be left standing around. Hopefully there won't be a screamer there waiting on us or two, and uh, we can just scoop up our backpack. I'm pretty sure it was full, uh, real close to full. I don't know, maybe maybe not quite, but. Don't really remember what we had in there other than all of our iron and scrap, and we certainly can't afford to lose that. Uh, so hopefully we get it back. If not, then day 55 will be uh, mining in the desert again <laughs> all day. Try to get back all of that uh, iron that we lost there. Won't take us long now that we have a good auger. Uh, we have uh, you know, virtually an unlimited supply of fuel. What I did in one of my desert bases is, uh, or desert mines, was I set up a, a couple fires down there so that I could be cooking up the oil shale and just take it out of my inventory. I had a few storages, and you know that was my little stopping point for fuel when I'd need it. And I, I didn't even take any oil shale back to the base with me ever. I just uh, cooked it up right there. Uh, now they have the uh, chem station as well. I guess we could make another one of those and stick that down there. Uh, and a couple fires to go with it. So I think it's been about seven or eight minutes maybe since we died. Maybe not quite that long, but uh, at least five minutes. So there is the uh, wasteland hub city right there. Looks like we're getting a bit of terrain glitching or something ahead of us. Whoops. My settings for graphics are a little wacky too. I had everything on ultra and I, I got this 4K TV and I tried to play it in ultra and now I, I probably could now that I have the settings uh, set properly. I, I had to look at this guide as to how to get the most out of your graphics card and um, I'm thinking about upgrading uh, my PC here soon, making a, building another PC. Uh, this is a, a PC-oriented household. Uh, my son actually has a better gaming PC than I have. Uh, had a company named Digital Storm make one for him uh, last year. And, uh, you know, it has all of the uh, bells and whistles. Figured it'd be something he could use for years to come and uh, upgrade as needed. Uh, but uh, PC that I'm on has a uh, i5-2500K in it that's uh, overclocked. You know, CPU cooler on it uh, has uh, 16 gigs of some gaming RAM in there. It's some of the G Skill uh, rip jaw, if I remember correctly, and uh, just dropped a GTX 1070 in there that's overclocked, and uh, it, it works really well. You know, it's uh, it's not a top uh, tier computer; it's just a mid-range computer, but uh, you know, it does what I need it to do. Uh, this is really the only game that I put. There's a feral. This is the only game that I really put a lot of time into. Uh, so it does all that I need for that. So we're going to try to jump off. Run here and get this. And... No one's noticed me yet. Okay. Hear the pitter patter. I'm listening here carefully. Because when I hear the pitter patter of little footsteps coming, I need to uh, take off. I really want to take that fit. Well, zombie just spawned right there. I want to get back down in there, but I don't want to draw so much attention to myself. What did we come up here for? Did we come up here for fuel. Oh, those are the chests that I need to get to down there. So we're going to have to fight uh, the young lady standing right there and that feral to get to that chest. Hmm. Let's do it. I mean, YOLO. Oh, look at that. Hey, see, he was already damaged from before, perhaps. 
So I knew I didn't just one shot him. Not on this uh, difficulty. He must have been one of those ones left over from before. Come on over here. I got a little Spartan's got a little something for everyone. All right, so we're going to dump. I'm going to have to sort through these chests again because, you know what, we're going to scrap that stuff. Uh, I'd love to get over to the forges. Top those things off again. Just kind of assessing what I have in my inventory here. Let's do a little sort feature. Um, top that off. And top that off as well. We have our ramps that we were putting in place. I think I'm good. I think that's it. Boy, that was... Uh, whew. We made it back. Got all the way back over here. Uh, that was a bit tricky, though. I don't want to have to do that again. I need to put that second mini bike into my uh, other mini bike. Oh, he hit me and put, turned me on, put me on fire. Uh, set me on fire. Uh, I need to take it back to the base with me uh, when I go next time. I wanted to clear those out because I didn't want them to be attracted to that frame. It's just a one-shot destruction, you know, it's, and it's gone bye-bye. All right, so uh, before we were so rudely interrupted with all of those ferals, we were down here doing this. Getting this thing looking the way that we want it to look. So... What can I do here? I'm not going to do those solid because I want to put storage down there. Uh, we could have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six forges there. Hmm. We could do... I think six forges would be good on this side. And then I could transfer the ones out of the street down here. Um, we could do a chem lab to three and two cement mixers. Then we could put our workbench or two over here. Probably just do one workbench. It doesn't make sense to do two unless we have multiple players on here playing. So uh, let me take this out. Okay, all of this is going to have to come out too. Just one layer. Uh, we're going to take one layer of that out all the way around. Take a sip of my coffee here real quick. So I'm not nailing anything down quite yet until I decide for sure that this is the setup uh, for me.
Okay, so the yeah, I worried that something was out of balance here. Seven. Okay. So we only have one more of these to do and we'll be done with this little section. Kind of framing it out, getting an idea of what it might look like. I hear something up there kind of losing its mind. But it is 4 a.m. So we could go over there and manipulate the forges however we see fit right now and not have to worry about uh, running zombies minus the uh, ferals. Okay, I don't have to figure out what I'm going to do to transition into this hallway. Uh, we've already taken out this one side. that like so let's take this other side down okay let's take the upper layer out Get a little refuel going. my uh, microphone on mute there for a moment all right so that is that looking good over there still need to transition into this little area right here we'll just stick a wooden frame there for the time being but I don't like the way that looks I get a little picky with some of the uh, way things look and a lot of it is kind of wasted time you could just stick some square blocks down and all of that and it would be fine I get a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy with my setup. Sometime a little bit, uh, put more time into it and thought than I should. But you all want to see the way I think that some of these creations. I've been reading your comments lately, and a lot of you were saying on a previous episode where I first started this bunker that I was digging differently than than you did. Uh, already you know you saw something that you could use or change so that's what it's all about uh, you know helping you all improve your game right now I think I'm sitting at about 2300 hours on the game that's not including before it was tracked uh, but uh, you know so I played it for a long time I've been building since the very first uh, couple days the game came out back in 2000 uh, mid 2013 uh, all of my buddies enjoyed scavenging and uh, killing zombies, and I didn't really want uh, any part of that. So they left me behind to do all the base designs and and uh, building and farming and all of that stuff. And so I used to come up with all of the uh, all the designs for all of that. Sounds like we have a little audience upstairs here, ooing and eyeing and. 
I need to go take care of them here in just a minute and run down to the forge. Don't hear any screamers, so that's good. Now these frames I'm placing here is simply to get a good idea of what it looks squared off. Uh, those are not going to stay. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, put storages down where you see that for the most part. It is day 55. Uh, at some point when I decide, uh, we'll ride over to the hardware store here. Um, I will need, and I don't know why I have not been doing it. We'll go ahead and scrap the, well, let's repair this auger first and then scrap that. I will need to go over and do a bit more mining, uh, especially now we have a better auger. It's going to be easy peasy. You know, we could make it look a little better and we could do, oh, wait a minute now. How did I get this out of balance? Let me think, let me think, let me think. So I went one more down. I'll tell you what I could do there to make it the same on both sides. And so that the hallway has a similar amount of space. This hallway is not important to me. Uh, this one will just be another exit to the spike pit. Sorry, but I'm kind of thinking out loud. Uh, this side will have a, a workbench. Maybe we go ahead and plop down like four cement mixers, but it'll have a workbench. We can do all of our forges and fires on this side. Now I like that split in the middle, but we can't do that at this side unless... Unless I do something like this to even it out. Let's see what that looks like from back here. Or we could also do something like this. Which may look a little bit better. Maybe something like that. I kind of don't like this one the way it is here, but then I don't know how well that would look like that either. Kind of awkward transition going from this ramp to this ramp over here. I like the way these look. I do like that, uh, but that would give us an even number. And we can do two forges here, two forges. Well, we still have that extra gap, though. I had to fill this in. And it is kind of a wasted space. Or, or, we could make this like that. Take this block out fill that in and just make this hallway one wide coming out here since there's not going to be anything in there anyway. Uh, we'll work all that out. I'll, I'll kind of think about how I want it to look uh, as a finished product um, sometime soon. We'll just leave this one in here for a bit of extra support right now, not that it needs it, but um, we'll think about how we're going to do this and we're going to have to take down a layer of this all the way around as well. Uh, I'll probably put a wooden wall back behind it too. It's a shame I'm out of steel. But for now, um, what I need to do, I cannot forget, I need to write a note somewhere to make nails or pick up the nails from the uh, other base. Um, you know, I could do this. I could do two fires 
three, we could do storage anywhere though. Two fires, a workbench, and then four forges over here. Don't really think I'm gonna need a ton of forges. Uh, you know, as it is, we, we already have, uh, what, seven, six, seven forges. Um, let's go up here and take these zombies out. Uh, let's see. Let's ride over to the hardware stores. Look at the zombie just standing right there looking, looking all silly. No screamers at the forges down there. Let's dump off some of these items here before we ride over to the hardware. Sorry if this is a bit slow for you all. Uh, I apologize. I, I do a lot of, um, uh, you know, just simple calculations, but I'd like, I'd like to have everything sort of calculated and uh, planned out. Um, okay, so it is still counting down. And sometimes that, that takes me a little while uh, when I'm just playing by myself. Uh, I don't worry about time quite as much. I just kind of go, you know, take a break. I'll sit here and take a sip or two of my coffee and assess the situation, look at what's around me, and uh, and handle it that way. But uh, in this case, we will take the wrench just in case we need to scrap something. Uh, doing it live, uh, or well, not live, but, you know, recorded so you all are here with me the whole time. I, you know, I, I really, I feel kind of bad sometimes. I look back at the episode and I think, boy, I wasted so much time thinking about this or doing that. And you all had to suffer through that. But uh, some of this could, uh, could be quite boring. Uh, and I hope I don't lose some of you. I know I probably will lose a, a few by doing all of this uh, calculating and planning. But, uh, but I appreciate those of you who are sticking here with me. Uh, through all of this planning and uh, and not skipping through the episode, uh, you know, just to look at the finished product. It will be some time before we get this to a finished product, but when we do, I hope it's going to be some great structure that, you know, I'm proud of and um, maybe that some of you want to uh, want to use. Of course, this is still just kind of a standard design. Oh, shoot, look at you. Two screamers. I am hunted. Where's she at? Feral coming. Two ferals coming. Let's take them out with a sniper rifle if we can. Or maybe... Maybe we run! 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 <laughs> Hey, sir. What are you doing? Don't hit on me. Mm-hmm. Doesn't feel so good to get hit in the face, does it? I am bleeding. I hear a little heartbeat in my ear. Nice, replace that first aid kit that we used. We're gonna scrap this. Scrap this and scrap this. So, two more screamers. Three more screamers. They're starting to build up. Oh! Errol. Oh, look at that shot to the head. Took him down. Just lay back down, sir. There's a bear right there. I don't want any part of that bear. Dog. Oh, 
Not good. I hear the bear. I'm gonna kill the bear. I might not kill the bear. But I see two more screamers right there. Ooh wee, we are gonna have our work cut out for us here today. There may be no hardware in my future. Oh. So yeah, I'm not very good with this sniper rifle and I, I need to put some points in it. Look at that. I like shot over his shoulder like three or four times. I tell you what. So I'm falling through the terrain again right there. That's a little bit scary. I, you know, I, there's a bear right there. I don't want to get uh, another screamer. Look at that. I don't want to get that thing all glitched out to where I'm falling through the terrain over there. I saw the bear fall through the terrain. I didn't think anything about it at first, but so we need to go one, two blocks left. I don't think I want to mess with uh, with all of that right now. I need to put some more points in the sniper rifle if I'm going to use it. I, I don't mean to use it that much, as much as I did right there. It's really for me to take out screamers from a distance with a headshot, but I have to get some practice with that thing. You know, I'm I'm not very practiced with it and not very skilled, and I think I'm causing more problems than anything because I believe the way that works now is um, when I hit the screamer, she immediately spawned zombies. Uh, so. Is that a cop? So you really do have to get a headshot. Uh, in order to uh, take them out from a distance with that thing. There's 30 nails right there. Look at that. Oh! Look at her hiding in the back room waiting on me. Walking on the shelf up there. Come down here, buddy. So this place is getting a, a little overrun. Let's look. There's a cop. All the way down to the end this way. There are actually two cops. I'm going to leave them in the dust. Oh, wait a minute. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. So I got a little crazy over there with all of the uh, screamers. I, oh, I'm not doing a very good job of uh, taking them out from a distance. It's really going to help us when we get those forges in our base and we don't have to worry about how there's a dog. Yeah, sniper rifle is pretty good for that, taking out dogs. Of course, when I hit the dogs, so we need to put our stuff in our mini bike. All 
right. Let's get back in here and get this taken care of. More nails. Nice, nice, nice. So we'll be able to make some of those storages that I was talking about. And here it's probably a poor idea for me to decide okay so we're all done I was gonna say a poor idea for me to scrap all that iron uh, tool and die we'll hold on to that for a moment let's do a little sort feature here we'll probably scrap that Man, it's still 16 seconds We're just going to leave that in there. We're going to leave that stuff in there too right now. Make sure I checked them all and didn't open it and then it become untouched because we had already looted them. Uh, the working or the uh, gun stores, I think we looted the gun stores the same day that we uh, looted the working stiff. Let's take a look and see. 14, 13, kind of wanted to go over there and do a bit of mining today to get more steel going for the forges. Of course, we can't even get to the forges right now with the bears and the screamers and the dogs. And... Okay, untouched. Let's just uh, leave the stuff in the crates and we'll get it all next time we come back. See if there's anything worth uh, getting here. Seven, six, two rounds. Ah, uh, we leave that sniper rifle. We have a good one. Okay, that one. Let's throw that out. Could scrap some of this stuff. Look at all that stuff. Oh, oh! We don't want to repair that. <laughs> want to scrap you. Scrap you. Scrap you. We'll scrap all that stuff too. We don't need that. Was this one that I had already searched? Let's read this and read that. Okay, so now it's untouched. 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 Mechanical parts we'll take. So all of that stuff, you know, we'll come back uh, a later date, scrap it all and whatnot but uh right now let's go around the corner to the other working stiff or uh shotgun messiah i'm sorry so we'll have it's 43 minutes into the episode boy we sure ran out of time quickly when i started killing the zombies and uh that's that's how you waste away a day right there you know messing with zombies you can you can sit out there and fight those screamers as they keep coming and keep coming and before you know it, your day is shot. Was that sniper rifle? That's pistol parts. Alright. Well, at least we can make a few storages. We'll make the rest when we go back to the uh, other base. Uh, let's loop back around now that we uh, had that... Uh, bit of a battle get back over there and see if this cleared out some so as much as I thought it would be handy to have forges over here uh, it may not be you know it may be so that uh, we kind of hurt ourselves by doing that because we're not going to even be able to get over to them. But in the very least, we're not having to worry about those screamers coming over to, um, you know, our thing here, our base that we're working on. Something I can start doing too is when I 
I'm still a little concerned about what I did with all my Duke coins, and we'll go dig some more treasures up, you know, now that scavenging's up and all of that. But uh, something I can do with them is make a chest right outside of range, uh, building range of the uh, vendor, and just put all my Duke coins in those chests over there. And you all are probably looking at this video thinking, man, what a dummy. He's already looked at those Duke coins like six times back at his base. <laughs> and I probably have, but I just don't recall seeing them. Um, more fertilizer, nice. More plastic parts, some rebar, metal door, and the nails. All we got was 22 nails out of that. I thought I'd picked up more nails. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's eat ourselves some meat stew. Take one of these, top off with some golden rock. Stinks. I hear the screamer, but I don't see her. Almost oh, there's a nail. I'll take that nail. So the screamer must be on the next street over. That's where she's at. Oh. Two screamers. Surely I hit her in the head. Right? <laughs> what I might have to do because there's been so much activity in this area recently might have to go back over to the other base because we're going to go over there anyway to fight off the horde. Uh, do a bit of mining tomorrow for day 56 in the desert. Uh, get as much uh, iron, raw iron as we can get. And And maybe it cools down over here just a little bit. Okay, well I think that's that. Now. Oh, there's the nails right there. I, th I put them in the mini bike. I thought I'd pick some up. Uh, that's all full. Oh, we have a bunch of random stuff over here. Look at these chests, 53 nails. Just go ahead and make five of those and use up those nails. We're not going to need all of these anvils so we can scrap. Uh, we'll just smelt them or whatever. So we have another 5,000 iron here. Let me full click on the old sort button that I never use that you all get on me about never using Just glancing through what I had there uh, I have another 1400 that take a little bit of fuel for the auger top off our repair kits which is something else we're gonna need to look into making here in the near future as well, we'll take our ramps we have full wood 
I'm gonna glance down here at the uh, forges. What do you know? There's nothing down there. Let's take some resources down there. I only have about five minutes or so left in this episode. Let's take that and that and this. And yeah, we'll take another clay. Instead of riding the mini bike down there this time. Oh my gosh. Two screamers. As I said, you know, there's nothing down there. That reminds me. Better led than dead. Let's get another point in that. Where was that other screamer? I know you're down here, gal. You're just hiding. You were just hiding from Spartan. Now there's one way over there. She's wandering away. Boy, we're completely out of stone. I should have brought more. Completely out of everything. Look at that. I just thought I'd top it all off. I did not realize. That we would be completely out. She's going to see me and scream. kind of wandering around. All right, that's good. Just wanted to top those off. Just kind of hoping to get these nails out before. She noticed. Oh, there's a pistol. Probably a lot of loot we missed out on over here with all of those zombies we killed. And uh, just kind of left them. Some moldy bread. So it probably was a waste to put those cement mixers out there because, uh, you know, we're gonna. We're just gonna put those down in our base. At least we can wrench them up now. That's a, that's a pretty cool feature of the game. I'm glad that they incorporated that. So tomorrow is the big day, the 56-day horde. Hope we are uh, ready to go. Believe that we will be. So maybe we put the uh, workbench here, the chem station here. And uh, we'll, we'll have to figure out what we're going to put where. So I still need to... Well, let's make... Uh, yeah, well, we'll make uh, two food. One health. One ammo and one gun. Start getting things in order here inside the base. Something like that. Hopefully this is going to be the way that we want it. We'll just stick this stuff here. Until we figure out exactly what we're going to do and where we're going to put all that stuff. 
while we have just a moment or two left here of the episode, we'll get a few more spikes upgraded. Where were we at? We were right down here. So I've not been very efficient in these uh, past couple episodes. Um, I'm going to try to uh, perhaps eat a little supper and get another episode recorded here in this one sitting so that maybe we can pick up the uh, pace a little bit for production instead of getting back and having to uh, reacclimate myself to what we were, uh, environment we were in, what we were doing. Kind of ready to just get this pit done and uh, let them start dropping in and picking up that loot and not having to go up and fight them off every day. Which we've not had too many instances. We had that one instance where I had the two ferals of the screamer. They're more or less hanging out over the forges over there. But you see how many screamers we're getting now? I guarantee you, we put those forges down here, we're going to just have an incredible incredible amount of uh, zombies falling into this pit and it'll just be uh, Christmas uh, every morning and every night uh, for all the loot we're going to be picking up and we're going to cap out our blunt weapon skill and whatever other skill we decide to cap out because we'll have uh, plenty of oh there we go that was a sweet spot kind of a weird place right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work that out. I'm sure some of you have uh, a great uh, a great way of fixing that, but uh, I'll think about it. You know, I think I, I have an idea in my mind of how I want to work this. We'll just have to see. There it goes. We'll just have to see how I, you know, go about doing it. It won't be something I do anytime soon because, like I said, if we don't have that one block in the corner, it's not a big loss. So that one spike, I mean, how much scrap iron do we have? Not a lot. And the reason I really can't um, go ahead and get these to the next level, reason we really can't let them in uh, until we finish all these is because they're going to be falling from all sides. You know, those screamers are going to come from all directions. Uh, they're going to spawn more screamers and so forth and so on. We're going to have bears falling in here, ferals, cops. So we want to get it all the way around. So we're not too far off. We're really close to having this uh, completed with the spikes. Uh, then we just need to get our steel. Uh, we have a little, uh, look at that, that little green wall right there. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. But uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I know this episode probably wasn't as uh, interesting as some of the others. But I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, I guess we did start off with a death and a little bit of fighting, zombie fighting. Uh, but uh, thank you so much. And uh, join me again tomorrow as we uh, take on the 56-day horde. This is our show.